I was going to do a quick update on uh, everything I got going so far here. Uh, these are um, the pindos that came out of the sides of those pindos. They're all growing in the sides there. Hey, cat. Um, we pulled out a bunch of pindos uh, from there. So that's pretty cool. This was the uh, one that was growing naturally around the block. Um, might be a sable miner, I'm guessing. Um, it was just growing, um, you know, right there on the side of the road. Uh, so we'll see how that's doing. It's doing pretty good. It's pushing new stuff. This was ordered off eBay, the Livestona. Um, I believe this was Livestona chinensis. Um, it's doing pretty good. This is the another Livestona back there. Not doing as great, but I've seen some new growth there. There's a little spear coming through right there. So these are my three Livestonas. This is the Livestona, uh, I believe this one was, where is the name? That one is the uh, Chinese fan palm. So actually that's the Livestona chances. If it didn't have the names on it, I would be lost. Um, so, but those are the Livestonas. I had four and one died. So out of the four, we have three left. So those will be rare around here. Any Livestona species of palm is pretty rare around here of course um, so we'll see how those do I'm hoping those get big uh, then we got over here these are the little sable palmettos that I saved from the one that got chopped down that pissed me off um, it had a bunch of babies growing around it this is my big sable I think palmetto from uh, Wilmington North Carolina it's doing really good it originally only had this weed whacked one right here and now it's got all these, so that's going to be really cool when it gets big. Uh, we'll see if that's a palmetto or not. I believe it's a true palmetto, not a minor. Um, just because as the petioles get bigger, it starts to look like more of a palmetto. Um, but over here also we have more of those babies from a sable palmetto um, from around the corner that got chopped. Uh, I'm trying different dirt, different um, buckets, different pots. Just to see what grows best. Here's more. I really got a lot of sable palmetto from that thing. He had so many babies. But I was mad that somebody chopped him. So I kept all the babies. Um, here's a Canary Island date palm. That was growing upside down from seed. It stunted its growth. Um, it is the same age as this Canary Island date palm. Which has absolutely gotten massive. It has my biggest pot here. And it has just gotten huge. Um, I don't know why this one is growing incredibly fast. But it is getting really big. This is not even two years old. This Canary Island date palm. From a seed. For some reason this is a freakishly other one. Because as you can see this is the same size. Same, year, uh, same time that it popped. It grew upside down so it was a little stunted. But not, they were the same size for a long time and then this one just absolutely blew up. So we'll see how that does. Really proud of that bad boy. Um, this is a pineapple that died. There's the dead one, but then on the sides it started budding, so I kept it around. And this is a filifera, real quick, sum it up. That I ordered off eBay. That's how much it's grown. It was just originally a center stalk somebody sent to me. You know, just the center stock, and it's grown up to this much over the summer. One summer. So I'm thinking every summer this stuff is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And cooler and cooler. And then here is one of my favorites. The Bismarckia nobilis. I got it. It had just one leaf on it. That one, I think, right there. And uh, now it's really starting to blow up. We'll see how that one does here in Charlotte. I really want that one to get big. These are amazing when they're huge. They're just so unique looking. So that's a little update on what I got going in the greenhouse because it's starting to get cold. I'm getting down to the 40s here. So anything in the 30s, I start putting stuff in the greenhouse. But yeah, thanks again. I forgot about these uh, Washingtonias that I was grabbing from Home Depot. I put them in big buckets. You know, the bigger ones, I put in big buckets. That one, I still got to repot but they're really doing good um, compared to what they were 
and uh, there's one more over there I missed but um, it's doing a lot better um, but the ones that I put in the ground just blew up like look they're, they're the same age these Washingtonia are like all they were all the same size as these but when you put them in the ground they just boom get massive um, I mean this thing has gotten huge this is not even a year's worth this is probably four months five months worth of growth just put them in the ground and they just blow up and I got another one right here just massive I'll show some older pictures and then what it looks like now just it is just getting huge you know Let's see the stalk here it's huge look at that thing big stalk you know and when you keep it in the pot the stalk just stayed like this you know like small still you know but I know that once I put these bad boys in the ground they are gonna blow up but it's too late in the season now so I'm gonna wait